Okay, so I think you have read the title. So let's just get started. Uh, so first of all, let's create a new project, and I'm going to name it Missiles. Missiles, and I'm going to create an empty game. I'm going to add a scene to our game, and yep. So now we are going to add an object. Um, let's add the missile first of all, because that's what we're making. Um, add an animation, and yeah. So I'm going to add assets. Uh, so here they are. Uh, to my where is that? Here it is. So yep. So I have added these uh, uh, assets to the f um, folder, and this is basically just this missile sprite. And let's show you this. Um, so this is the missile sprite that I'm using. It is from kna.nl and this is just a white circle which will be smoke for our missile so yeah <clears throat> uh, if you want to um, use the same sprite you can download it from the kna.nl or and i will also share a link in the description also if you want to make it by yourself you can go to the blog version of this channel and check out in the tutorial for making uh, missiles in Inkscape for game asset. So yeah, you can find step-by-step step instructions to make this missile and uh, I hope you find it useful um, but the point is that <clears throat> uh, You can go with um, any sprite that you want. So let's get back to the game uh, uh, on GDevelop uh, So I'm gonna add this missile and I'm going to click apply. So now we have this missile here. I will also add smoke. So again, sprite, and I'm going to name it smoke. I'm going to add a sprite. Okay, so we got the smoke and we got the missile. So I'm going to drag the missile. And so now we want to make this missile move. So I'm going to go to the events. And I'm going to add an event to move the missile. Okay, so let it be um, no conditions and we are going to add an action. I'm going to select missile and then I will click on add a force angle and make sure you're choosing this angle uh, event. So I'm going to search for direction and I'll choose this direction and missile and click. I'm going to click on apply. And for speed, let's, let, let the value be 350 and OK. So uh, what this will do is this will move the missile in the direction the missile is facing with a speed of 350 pixels. So let me just show you. Uh, you know what, actually, I'm going to change the um, background color. So um, scene properties, and then you have to choose the background color. Click on OK. Yeah, um, I'm going to change it. Yeah, this looks a little bit more like a sky. So yeah, and uh, I'm going to go to the missile and click on edit points and I'll add a point and I'll name it smoke. And I'm going to um, bring this point right here um, just below I mean, where the smoke should come out of the missile so that is done I'm gonna close it then I will go click on apply the next step is um, to create a smoke object um, so I'll select smoke create an object and I will choose the position where it needs to be done so point uh, of the missile name of the point will be smoke apply same for the Y position so type in point and then choose Y position, then choose missile as the object. And for the name of the point, I will choose smoke. I'm gonna click on apply. And yeah, we're done here. So I'm gonna click on OK. And uh, so yeah, that is done. Uh, so let me just let me just launch the preview of the scene. Uh, I don't know why they named it like this. Oops. Uh, mm, okay. So we need to center the camera on the screen and can, on the missile. 
Okay, so uh, type in center and then choose center the camera on object. I'm going to choose missile and click on OK. Now let's just get back to the scene and launch the preview again. Okay, so as we can see that, okay, the smoke is a little offset. So let's go to the smoke, edit points, and I'm going to increase the size of the smoke. So as you can see, this is the origin. Let's bring it to the center and let me just close this, click on apply. And I'm going to save this thing. Uh, yes, yeah, so this time, as you can see, the smoke is coming out of exactly in the middle of the missile. So yeah, that was just because the origin offset. Now let's just get back here. And I'm going to change the speed to 300 maybe. I don't know. Um, I'm going to save it again. So the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to make the missile follow the um, mouse. So let's add an empty event here. Uh, add an empty event. I'm going to add a condition that if the touch or mouse button is down, um, yes, the left mouse button. Uh, oh, wait a second. No, uh, mouse pressed or touch or, or touch held. This is what we want. So I'm going to add an action that the missile will uh, rotate. Where is that? Yes, rotate towards position. And for X position and Y position, I'm going to choose the cursor Y and cursor X. So mouse, uh, oops, um, where is the mouse? Mouse cursor, cursor X position, apply. And cursor Y position, apply. I will choose angular speed to be, I don't know, like 90. Okay, so that's done. I'm going to save it again and I'm going to run it. So if I touch or left mouse button, you can see that the missile is following me. Now there is one problem that the smoke is everywhere. And the more smoke you have, let me just show you. Uh, let's look at this. This will hang your game after some time if you are on a low spec machine and if you use this effect too much. So what I'm going to do is I will just... Uh, I'll just do it in a very simple manner. I'll go to smoke, I'll add a behavior, and I'll add, add the... Not the drag, draggable. I'll add the destroy outside the screen behavior. I'm gonna save it. Okay, so uh, yes, this is the behavior that I added, destroy outside. And you can also add the margin, but that is not required right now. I'm going to click on save and I'm going to launch the preview. So if we just look at this missile this time, um, as you can see, the, there is no smoke outside the screen. As soon as the smoke goes outside the screen, it is deleted. This is a really good behavior added to the GDevelop. Earlier, this wasn't the case. You had to do it manually. Uh, okay, so let me just close this thing. And I'm going to actually change the speed because you can see the smoke was um, uh, not looking that great. So let me just again play this. As you can see, the smoke is now like a straight thick line, um, but the speed is just too low. So I'm going to just increase the speed. Just play with the speed a little bit and to make the smoke look much better. So um, yeah, as you can see, the smoke looks really good and great. Uh, yeah, there is no space between the smoke and this is what I wanted. I'm going to click close it and um, you can actually also do um, this thing called random and you can uh, pass in let's say 60 and also not 66 <laughs> and then random on the Y position and let me do a 6. I'm going to click on OK. So this will make the smoke look even more random. So just look at this thing. OK, so this looks a little bit ugly. I don't know. But yeah, this is uh, this is how you can make, make the smoke look exactly as if it is like, I don't know if you're making a space game or something like that. You can use this thing. Uh, so I'm going to remove it because uh, I liked uh, the previous one. But I was just giving giving you an idea that if you want a little bit of randomness, you can use that. 
So yeah, this thing looks uh, really nice. Um, so I think we're done with the tutorial, I think. So uh, if you wish, you can go to uh, the, the text version of this blog, uh, and sorry, this uh, channel, which is a blog, and uh, you can check out tutorial for making a missile. Also guys, please subscribe. It's been a really long time since we're stuck at 44 subscribers. So, thank you.